Hi, I'm Luke Fisher and this is Garden Cocktails and today I'm going to teach you and show you how to make and infuse a berry tequila so that we can make a berry tequila margarita. <laughs> Before I start with the margarita, I'm going to go over the fusion. What I did was, I have this tequila brand that I use, it's called Number Two. The, the brand tequila that I use is a one, two, three. That's what the tequila is called, the one, two, three brand. One being Blanco, two Reposado, three Añejo. I used the Number Two and I fused it with blackberries and blueberries for almost three weeks. It was a really long process, but what I did was is I got blackberries and blueberries, dehydrated them, couple couple of those plastic boxes, I did probably two rotations of those, dehydrated and fused, dehydrated and fused, and I used the same tequila, and I put it in a jar, put it in a cool dark area, almost like a cellar type of a environment, and I left it there for three weeks. Now, this is the thing that I want you to remember. At the end, whatever your jar reduces at, because it will reduce according to the fruit that's absorbed the alcohol, whatever the absorption level is, I usually fill it back up with the said spirit, so the number two Reposado tequila. What we have here is this beautiful, amazing color, and it just screams berry. It screams blueberry, it screams blackberry. And the dehydrating process, what it does is, it takes up all the moisture, leaving you with just the flavor and the sugar level. And that's what you really want to infuse. That's how you, the color bangs out, that's how everything really pops. And this is the end product. So now we're gonna build the margarita. I use Monin Agave as my sweetener. You can find Monin online anywhere. Um, in France, Monin is one of the most popular brands of sweeteners there is. So I recommend you just getting online. It's M-O-I, or excuse me, M-O-N-I-N. -N. Uh, very easy to find and you can get it online. I believe, I'm sorry I don't know the name, but I believe that there is a warehouse in town that sells these by the case as well, if you're interested. So. I'm gonna do three fourths. I always start with my sugar first. Three fourths of an ounce of agave. I'm gonna leave this here for you to see. Then I'm going to go one full ounce of fresh pressed lime juice that I just did this morning. Leave that right here. And from there, we are going to do two full ounces of the berry number two tequila infusion. Okay, now what we need to do before we shake and strain is we're going to put my version of kind of the salt around the rim. What I like to use is cracked pepper and Himalayan rock salt. Um, and I grind it together and I mix them together. The reason being is this. First of all, the Himalayan salt is really, really light. It has its own unique flavor, which I really enjoy. And it's not gonna be over salt. I don't wanna have to fight through kosher or rock salt, which is sometimes what you have to do uh, when, you're, when you're taking down a margarita, there's this heavy level, uh, heavy level, excuse me, of salt. And then your spirit comes forth, your cocktail comes forward. I don't want it to fight, I want it to bind together. Okay, the cracked pepper is gonna help elevate the fruit note of my drink. I'm gonna add that really, really soft Himalayan rock, that pink Himalayan on one side, and I'm gonna have kind of that spicy cracked pepper on the other. And it's really going to add the flavor that you want with the margarita with lifting the fruit notes out of it as well at the same time. So we're just gonna cut a quarter of this line right here. And I like to just do one big side. I'm not, I'm not about having the whole rim done. So I take one big side like this, get it nice and lined up, and then I'll press it against a plate filled with my salt here. So that you can have a side for drinking and you can have a side for licking and you don't have to try to find that part in your glass that you haven't discovered already when you're doing classic margaritas. I have filled up my tin with ice. I'm going to get the bottom tin where my ingredients are at. I'm going to pour on top, seal tightly, give it a few good shakes. We'll strain out this beautiful margarita that we have made with this beautiful little pink color. And for the lime, traditionally, we are going to slide some really thin lime wheels on each side of the glass. And there you are. My berry infusion tequila margarita. Enjoy. It's going to be a beautiful spring and a beautiful summer.